If you're familiar with Docker or Kubernetes, then you may have found a need for a tool like Harbor. Harbor is an open source registry that secures containers with policies and role-based access control. It ensures images are scanned and free from vulnerabilities and signs images as trusted. Harbor delivers compliance, performance, and interoperability, assists in securely and consistently managing your cloud containers, and provides robust administration and auditing capabilities. And to make things simple, we have Harbor available as a one-click app in our marketplace. To get started, log into the Cloud Manager and then select the marketplace on the left. Find Harbor in the list of applications by either scrolling through or using the search field. Next, we'll fill in the relevant information for the Harbor app. First, we want to add a secure password for the Harbor admin account. Then we're going to provide a secure password for the database. The last required field is the admin email for the Harbor service. The rest of these fields are optional. If you want to configure a custom domain, go ahead and generate an API token with DNS privileges and put it in here. Then add the subdomain you plan on using as well as your domain. Now we can select an image, and I tend to lean towards Debian for these kinds of installs. Next, choose your region. I'm going to choose Newark, New Jersey for my region since I'm in the Northeast United States. Now let's choose our plan. A dedicated four gigabyte should suffice. Give this Linode a name and any tags you might wish, then add a root password. Now let's create our Linode and allow it to provision. Once it's done, open a browser and navigate to the domain that you created, or you can use the RDNS address here. You should now see your Harbor login screen. Use admin as your username and the admin password we set up earlier to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to set up user authentication. You can choose LDAP or Active Directory, database or OIDC-based authentication. The admin user can also add users in database authentication mode and assign them administrator roles as necessary. You can also configure global settings, such as configuring an email server, setting up the registry to read-only mode, and restricting who can create new projects. Other operations, like creating OCI artifacts and projects, can be done with limited user accounts with the appropriate permissions. Now we're ready to push our first container to the registry. Harbor organizes containers into projects. On the left, select projects and then select library from the list of projects. Select the configuration tab and uncheck the public option. Now click the save button. Now we're gonna create a basic Docker image using Nginx and a simple website. Let's run these two commands. Make dir example Nginx image and we're going to cd into that directory. Now let's create a file called nginx-default.conf and we're gonna add the following nginx config to it. Let's run the command make dir html and let's make a simple html file called index.html inside of it. It's gonna contain this html code and now it's time to actually create a docker file. This is pretty straightforward. If you're familiar with Docker files, we're just gonna import nginx and then we're gonna copy all these files that we've made into the Docker image. Okay, now we're gonna build the Docker file. So we're gonna sudo docker build-t example-nginx-image dot. And then we're going to run the command sudo docker images to ensure that we've actually built our Docker image. Now we're gonna push our Docker image to Harbor. So we'll run the command sudo docker login and then either our domain name or our RDNS. You'll also need to provide the username and password that you set up after you first log into the web interface. We'll now tag our Docker image with a version number. Now let's push our Docker image to Harbor. We can now head back to the Harbor dashboard to see the results. Go to the project page and select the library project from the listing. And there we go. We have successfully pushed our first image to Harbor. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure that you use the links below to learn more about Harbor and the ways you can incorporate it into your enterprise workflow. Make sure that you get subscribed to see more videos just like this one. And thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.